Hey guys, um, it's here for day three of my, um, uh, my psychology project. Um, just got back from psychology, actually. I only have two classes left, which is nice. Um, right? Yeah, so, um, I, I'm almost done writing it. I only have two days left today and tomorrow, and then I'm going to type it up and hand it on Monday. I'll, uh, hopefully let you know. Actually, I won't even get a grade on it, really, because, um, I have to hand it on the last class, and we don't have an exam, so, but, um, Anyway, so this is for. I can't even like get comfortable right now. I might um, not even post this one. I might have to redo this, but the one take, first take, gonna do it. So um, for the 22nd, which was Sunday, and I said uh, the first thing I said I was grateful for were my uh, job. I do work a couple jobs. Um, on campus, um, I'm a tutor at um, a school in the Boston area. Not in my area. We have to like take a bus an hour to get there, almost an hour to get there and, and get back. So it's uh, I, I spend more time on the bus than I actually do with the little girl I tutor who's um, in second grade. And I do math. Last semester I did English, well, reading at um, another school with a second grade boy. Um, which was quite a great experience. And, and I mean, it was just a lot of fun. I do get paid to do this, and I get community service hours, which is great because I want scholarship for community service. So it's great that I get paid to do this and just to like hang out with kids twice a week. Not that bad, only Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, and I do give, like I said, I do give up um, cab meetings do this. I have to meet with my um, vice president in a little while, but um, it's definitely worth it. Um, and I have multiplication flashcards, but they're learning how to tell time. No one uses analog clocks anymore, I swear. And um, I have like, a big bucket of just, like, teddy bears that you use to like count. So, she loves doing it. Just, like flashcards. I had um, tons of like storybook last semester that I used. But I, I love doing that. Um, I volunteer. Um, I have uh, I'm going to ask questions on Friday, but I volunteer with um, the youth mentally and sometimes physically disabled uh, teenagers uh, at a local um, place for them to kind of like hang out. They come to us, but uh, they're just so sweet. They're like the sweetest kids ever. Um, there's this one kid, Nate, who just, you know, I adore him. He's just so funny and so sweet. Um, there's one boy who's not only autistic, but he's blind. Blind and autistic, like, God had it out for him. Poor, poor Andrew, but, um, they're so sweet. I love them. I love mentoring with them. I love them. getting to hang out with them like two Fridays a month that, you know, it, that's not paid. You don't get paid to do that. But um, it's a lot of fun. I um, am a substitute teacher over at um, the daycare. We have two daycares on campus. And uh, I, I volunteered last semester with the toddlers who were, again, so much more fun. Love hanging out with the toddlers. Made my morning, like Monday, Friday morning. I loved them. And then, uh, now I'm a substitute. They call me in when I need them, and um, when they need me, rather. I, I, I woke up like not two hours ago. Uh, I haven't been called in this semester, but hopefully I will this week or next week, because I miss my little toddlers. They're just so cute. They're, they're a little um, girl named Rachel and a little boy named Finn. And they're really like a toddler Finchel. I don't ship Finchel at all, but, you know, they, they were just so cute. Um, I'm very grateful to have these jobs and to get to work with a range of children and teenagers. It's a lot of fun. Um, which leads into the next thing. I am grateful for my education, which obviously I am. I, I do not go to a cheap school. This is like an expensive school. It's not Ivy League, but um, 
you know, like, I don't go to Harvard, don't get me wrong, this is not Harvard, but, um, it is expensive. I am on a couple of scholarships. I do get financial aid, but still, like, room and board is more expensive than, like, classes and books. Yeah, and books, so like, that's another thing, but, um, yeah, I am grateful to have this education, quality of education that I have here at my school. Great education, great um, classes for the most part. <laughs> you know, um, it, and I don't really take it for granted that I um, have what I have here. And um, I mean, it's an hour away from home, so it's not that act like I can go home for a vacation easily. I have to pack everything up. This is not going to be fun. I feel like I have like posters and stuff behind me. I don't know what you can see, but um, like all pictures on the wall. And if you went over here, you'd see like uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Harry Potter keeps falling down. I think it's possessed by Voldemort. Oh crap, I just said his name. You know who. I think it's possessed because it keeps falling down. Took it down like way poster last time. But she tried to jump off again last night. Now I'm off topic. Um, so yeah, my education I'm definitely grateful for coming from. A pretty crappy high school. Who, you know, just cared about the sports and not about the arts or anything. And the ceiling tiles were literally falling down in the hallways. And it like leaked. Like, the roof leaked. And, uh, you know, like, it just was not a fun environment to be in. Definitely better here. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, the last thing I said, getting a little personal, I feel, but not that this gets many views, and I can trust my, like, four views, one of which probably isn't mine anyway, so. But, uh, I'll probably make another, um, uh, video about this separately. But, um, grateful to have a mother who supports my sexuality. And before you jump to conclusions, let me just say, I am bisexual. I do, um, with boys and girls, not equally. It's probably about 70-30 with me. But, um, I do, I do like a boy right now. Not to say his name, not that he's gonna ever watch this. But, um... You know, and make another video about this more probably, but, um, I do, like, my dad wasn't as comfortable with it as my mom because he was raised Roman Catholic. So, um, like, my parents and one of my cousins are the only people in my family who know my friends are aware is on my Facebook. So, um. And people don't pick up on that. They're like surprised. I'm like, do you not see interested in? But whatever. Um, but yeah, like, my mom's totally cool with it. So, yeah, that's what matters. And I'm closer to my mom than my dad. But, um, you know, it's definitely, um, not something I really talk about a little on camera. But, um, yeah, so it is, um, I'm just grateful to have that relationship with my mom. Um, and she's actually going to come up next Saturday to help me pack up some of the stuff ahead of time. There's no way I'm going to get it all back, <laughs> um, on the 7th, but, yeah, just like, it's just great, and, you know, I talked to her last night on the phone for a while, um, you know, so, yeah, just I'm grateful to have that. And then, um, tomorrow... I won't be wearing a sweatshirt, like, I'm just, I'm lazy, and I got up, and I was like, I'm just gonna eat my yogurt and go to class, um, so I was wearing, like, a silk green mini mouth shirt, and, uh, yeah, but, um, I have work tomorrow, and I have, like, a banquet that I have to go to, so, but I'll be back tomorrow, probably in the morning, or after work, and then I'll do my laundry this afternoon. Um, and I'll give you day four, which probably is a little more shallow than today. Same thing with, um, yesterday. It's a little bit more shallow. Um, and that's good for two more days and then, um, type up a reflection on it. So, I will see you then.